We're here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> this Rock is it, girls. Roll. You've never been here? Mm -mm. You guys, get ready to rumble. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm Chloe. Nice to meet you, Chloe. Nice, nice to meet you. Here. Yeah. Stephanie. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for having you. us. Rock and roll, baby. OK, I guess just follow me this way. One thing that we have all of our rock stars do is sign our wall of fame. This wall right here, we just started having people sign. Oh, cool. OK, what should we write? What do you want to write? Pablo's Angels. <laughs> Cute. Cute. This is our collection storage vault. Ooh, look at this dress. We have over 30,000 artifacts Beyonce. in our collection. Yes. When did she wear child. that? So this is from the um, independent women video. Wow. Um, um, this right here, this is Rihanna from the Rude Boy video. Oh. And then this right here. That has to be from like Snoop Dogg or Nate Dogg or something. This is Snoop Dogg. Yeah. yeah. Snoop -a Uncle Snoop. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, does anyone have 85 cents? I do. <gasps> you know what? Can I get some Skittles? Number 57. Oh, sh should I get tropical? Oh, I'm getting tropical. Can't pass up a vending machine. For show. This is like classic. Over here, this is uh, James Brown. That's cool. Do one on my snap. Yay! Yay. Lamar is so bummed he can't be here. I am. He's bummed, but no problem. He's so annoying. He just canceled last minute. It's a bummer that Rob didn't show up. Rob was my wingman. Okay, he's supposed to be here. He invited me on the trip. He just said, I don't want to be around everyone with like good bodies and feel bad. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel bad that he feels that uncomfortable going on a vacation with his family. I don't know what person on this earth would not want to be in a beautiful place like this. I just said, I'd, you better be working out and eating right then. So that's really that's what his... it's all about. I totally get like having like your weight issues. Like I've had them or but it happens, but you still have to go on with life. And so you're missing out on a family trip, something that's like, this is- Are you supposed to be my partner? When did you guys get here? I got here yesterday morning, early. I got here this morning. We were here this morning. It is so pretty here. Yeah, it is beautiful. I'm looking forward to a full day. Yeah, you know, it's all right. <laughs> I was, I was uh, glad I got the invite, so, no. <laughs> the issue with Chris and I is that there was no real line of communication. I mean, honestly, I don't even remember the last family vacation that we went on with all of us like this. Oh, wow, that, that's exactly, you read my mind. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. You have to look me in the eye. Oh, we don't want you to have seven years of bad sex, right? <laughs> it's already been more than Ew, that. Mom. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, things have gotten off to a very awkward start with Brody. I want Bruce to explain to Brody that I didn't leave him out of the family vacation to Greece. You know, instead of owning up to what is going on in his life with Brody, he somehow shifts all of this blame on me. So ultimately, I get painted out to be the bad guy. Are we there yet? Yeah. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> I love you so, so much. You want to hold my hand? Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, guys. Good, how are you? How are you today? Good. Good. Perfect. Ready to jet ski. You guys ready to have some fun? Yes. Uh, you going to have us sign our life away? Um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do it. You're not going? Johnny's scared. There's sharks in the ocean. The sharks in the ocean. You have your period? You don't want to go? Okay, well, if you're not going to go, I'm not going to come either. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't feel like getting my makeup ruined anyway. Is it okay if I go? Do you mind? No. Just make sure you guys meet us back there ASAP because you'll have to get ready. Yeah. And then we're going to go straight from dinner out. So I would say like an hour and a half or two. We can do that. We'll okay. miss you, dolls. I know. Yeah. I'm going to miss you too. Next time. Yeah, don't next do time. Stupid. Yeah, we'll Oh my god. Get it to 
one of these waves real big and get some big air. And I have decided we should do something wild and weird with you. Like what? I don't know. Will you jump Braxton. in a pool with your clothes on? Oh, I already got champagne all over me. <laughs> okay, she's in. Courtney, you do it, I'll do it. That would be so fun. We're gonna do it together. One, <laughs> two. You now I left you. Three. Come on, everybody, into my room. Many, many years ago, when we started going to Mexico, we started this silly tradition. We would jump in the pool with all of our clothes on. Party time! <laughs> So what better way to show the Jenners how the Kardashians do a family vacay? Yeah! Bruce, 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 I want everybody out of my room right now. <laughs> we're jumping in the pool and we're out of here. Well, we're blowing it! We're going to It is my last night here in Greece, and I'm getting up really early in the morning to fly to Paris to go spend time with my boyfriend. What makes these vacations so special is moments like this. You're naked, Courtney! You're wearing all white! Hi, Santorini! The memories that we have as a family are what makes me the happiest. I love you. It's really it's good seeing you. So good hanging. Great. Yeah, absolutely. I'll see you soon, yeah? Okay. I'm very pregnant. It was really hard for me to like be on this vacation, but I'm so glad that I came here. It's just so magical, and I'm glad that I spent an amazing vacation with my family. You know what's wrong with you? You're afraid to live on the wild side. Yeah, that's exactly right. I like to live on the sleep. No, honey, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. No, hey, no. You're not even thinking about it. Don't even think about it. Look, that's the only shirt I brought, you're gonna get it all wet. I read Old Man in the Sea in high school. Thank you. Kim and I are going to see Ernest Hemingway's house. We're excited just because we studied and read Ernest Hemingway, and it's cool to see how people live. Welcome to a museum. My name is Isabel. I'm going to be your guy. And that's the house of Hemingway. In 1928 was the first time Hemingway visited Cuba. Only 48 hours, but was enough. He was in love. When Hemingway receives a special guest, he used to ring the bell to say welcome. Today for you. Are those his magazines and books? Yes. Everything is authentic. Furniture, paintings, animals on the wall. He was a hunter. As you can notice, there's no luxury in the house. Everything is simple, but nice and practical. That was Hemingway's style. You want to walk around and see the rest of the rooms? Sure. His private bathroom, only for Hemingway. One of the most interesting things here is on the wall. That's Hemingway's handwriting. You see the scale there? Yeah. He shed his way almost every day and take knocks on the wall. It's like me. You did the same? Yeah, I do. That's cool. This house is so cool. It's such a part of Cuban history that I wish Chloe could see this. I just want her to like live life and enjoy herself and not worry about it all, which just breaks my heart because it's like the same cycle all over again. It just really sucks. First time in Cuba? Mm-hmm. Not the last, I hope. No, we love it. It's so beautiful. Is that what should be going on? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm so not down for that. I'm not a big camper, but where your dad wants us to go is near Area 51. And I'm just saying, I think we should totally just hijack the trip and go alien hunting. Down. You're down for the yeah. cause. Okay, so look, a writer on Area 51, it does all these really cool like adventure tours. We got it. Like cows get abducted here. Got it. Recent sightings of UFOs have been observed. There's a highway called the ET Highway. That's why his name's ET in the movie? Extraterrestrial, Tyler, are you an idiot? Yes. They she call them ET. She is an like idiot. Not, other than that movie, they call them uh, ET. Yay. Sister. <laughs> My only thing is I just don't think your dad is gonna, he's just going to not be down. No, for Isn't sure. Isn't that weird? 
What if Bruce is a tall white, you guys? What if he's an alien and he doesn't I think he is a tall white. Well, he'll be down if we just like tell him straight up. There's no way. And what if we get abducted? What are we gonna say? We're not gonna get abducted. Let's just say here I'm down to get we'll abducted. Answer. We'll leave you raw. <laughs> Uh, this Cuba trip, Kim, Court, and the kids, and Malika, and Kanye, and all of them were all... We decided we all want to go. We think it's going to be so much fun. Like, if they're doing the Chanel fashion show and everything there, like, it's got to be safe. Kendall's and... supposed to walk in Chanel. I know. But I will tell you guys... Soy -oy. ...that there's no internet. It's if we're with our whole family. Who needs to call anyone? Uh... Me. Why wouldn't you come? I'm not going to Cuba. I, I, I can't, if there's no communication. I have work to do. The girls wanting to go to Cuba is a little stressful for me. I feel very anxious about not being able to communicate with them while they're gone. You don't communicate either way. I can't reach you. <laughs> you guys can go down to Cuba, have fun. It's like gonna be legendary. It's gonna be so much fun. And I heard the sangria is to die for. I think the only thing I'm gonna really enjoy about you guys being in Cuba, I can have some peace and quiet. All right, guys, well, I'll enjoy my time. And you guys let me know when you get back because you certainly can't send me an email when you land. Hasta luego. <laughs> <laughs> this is when we were like in the Everglades on that <laughs> boat. Oh, oh, okay, let's, let's snap. I don't have a phone. Wait, <laughs> okay, I do. That shows huh? that doesn't need. What? This uh, is my, oh this my, my god. Gloves. We're live here in Kaiser. Guys. Oh <laughs> we're not doing well. Where's my gloves? Oh, oh my god, <laughs> we're getting blown away. Where are my gloves? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> We're literally blowing! Can somebody zip my jacket? I've never been this cold in my life. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, guys! It's brewing up, the guys are brewing up. How do we know when it's gonna happen? As soon as the water starts like rising up and down. Then... Look, 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 It's brewing up. It's brewing up. The geyser's brewing up. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's boiling. Here we go. I want to take a photo. Would you, would you make sure of us? This is a once in a lifetime break. Oh, do you want to jump off together? Are you kidding? Would you ever? Yeah, with you. Courtney, so I would never from here. We could go down Why? One more. He did it. Brody really just set the YOLO bar pretty high. Gotta have a talk about this. Why did I even mention this? <laughs> this was your idea. I am sweating my balls off. How cold is it? It's not oh, cold at all. You only live that is your motto. YOLO! Why are so late? It's so fun. Just do it. Let's do it. No, Courtney, Courtney. What? Oh my god. Hold ah! hands. Courtney and I, we made this YOLO pack. I don't know why I did anymore because this is so scary. <laughs> Let's go! No!
so glad that we stuck to our YOLO pact because it's so fun to do stuff that we wouldn't do every day. That's why we're here on vacation. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I've never seen Bruce let mom drive. Yeah. Woo! Her hair. Oh my god, her wig. <laughs> she got so close. To, did it fall off? Yes. It's right there in the water. That's so Do you wrong. see it? Oh my, oh my god. god. Honestly, God works in mysterious ways because that wig did not do her any justice. This is a sign. A sign from above. Get it. Oh. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. This car. Nice and feisty, so nice, Is it the size you unleashed? Yes. Sonic's beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh my goodness. Hi, Billy Goats. So the goats are like people's dogs almost. Yeah, they're one with nature. All the colors are so pretty on yeah, all the buildings. Yeah, the people like the colors. I love it. Hola. The people are so nice. I love you wave it. You meet people in the United States and they look at you like life. you're crazy. Real life. Yes, that's what I like is real life. I love so many things about Cuba. I love that there's history and culture. People are outside and they're walking the streets and everyone is like enjoying other people. Hello. Friends with everyone. Just seeing the pride on everyone's faces. It's refreshing to see that. We should set a goal to walk away from this trip saying it's one of the most amazing trips we've ever had. Down. So far. So good. We're so in far, so good. What's this over here? Really? Mangoes, banana, aguacero. Yum. All the things we like. We're such tourists. <laughs> That's so cool. Up. You look so cute. <laughs> and why everyone's dressed like it's like we're going like into the wild. I look at all the other dolls and they're all super overdressed for camping. They all have camo gear on. It's it's not like we're going into the real wilderness. We're going into a campsite in Malibu. You don't have to like be prepared for the worst conditions. Like we're just gonna have fun. Oh wow. Wait, wait, I got extra stuff. Arvin's gonna be the cutest. And We're going camping, what is this? Shh. Do you wanna be comfortable or not? You really wanna like all these things? Seriously? This is cool. Yeah, it's a But I don't know if we're glamping. Yeah, we are glamping. This, it looks cool in your bathroom maybe. I'm trying to make the best out of this camping trip. I could think of so many other places to go, but Part of a relationship is compromise, and I mean, if this makes Shalom happy, then I'll go. Come on. Can we go now? Are we there yet? 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 Hi, guys. Hey, girl. Oh my god, you're coming? I'm coming camping with you guys. We have no room for you. Wait, wait, wait. We already replaced you with somebody else. Ooh, we already replaced you with somebody else. Who invited you? You can ride with me, child. <laughs> After talking to my therapist, I realized I'm not just going to sit at home waiting for Colin to call me. So I'm going to go hang out with my friends, even if that means that I have to go camping. Bye, we're going on a safari. Love how the kids are outside.
outside playing. Like, look at the boys are playing ball. We have no video games. It's like really cool when you don't have a phone and you can take the time to like look at everything. Look at things. Hey. Hi, how is it? It's amazing, but wait, can you talk for a sec? Hello. Hey. How is it? Can you hear me? Yeah, no, I can barely hear you. Ugh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. How are you, sweetie? I'm good. How I just I just have anxiety. Are you sure it's safe here? Yeah, yeah. It's safe there. I promise you. Look, I went through the same thing. I promise you, it's safe. Do you promise? I have my kids there. It's safe. Ever since Paris, I've just like go through this like worst case scenario mode in my head. I was so excited to come on this trip and I had no idea that I was gonna end up feeling this way, but it hit me right as we were getting off the plane that all of these people at the airport are gonna see, you know, 17 or 18 girls with all of our Chanel bags and, you know, Louis Vuitton this, and it just like, hit me, like, we're the biggest target ever. I'm just like, why did I come, you know? No, Kim, Kim, I'm serious. I went through it. Hey, I understand exactly how you feel right now. I was laying in bed like, should I wash my face? I'm so tired, I'm in my robe, I need to get up, I need to wash my face. And then 10 minutes later, I was like dozing, dozing, and then I heard pounding up the stairs. And I thought it was you and Stephanie drunk. I'm calling to them like, hello, 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 and there's no answer. And then at that moment, when there wasn't an answer, my heart started to get really tense. Like, you know, your, your stomach just kind of like knots up and you're like, okay, what's going on? What's going on? I knew something wasn't quite right. My door was open like this. And then I saw two guys holding another guy down in police uniforms, but right outside of my bedroom, five feet away. So I slid off my bed and picked up my phone and I'm like, I don't know how to call 911 in a different country. And so I like called Pascal, and then the guy came and grabbed the phone for me, threw me on the bed. And I was like, this is it. Then the concierge that I realized was the concierge because he was handcuffed with the key to my room. What I've heard from talking to him afterwards is they said, you know, where's the rapper's wife? Like, let us up to her room um, in French. So he ended up being our interpreter because um, I couldn't understand them, they couldn't understand me. This house is a paradise. Thank you. With the pool, it's outdated. I mean, it's not as bad as a Garado, but some of it has to go. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. so right. I think there's somebody that could come in, demo all the coping, like all this big pieces, okay. and perfect it somehow. I like my pots of flowers, because I'm a flower person. For sure. Can we just keep those at least? Not and there. And I, I agree that this thing is hideous. Well, yeah, listen. Like, it's just dated, you're right, but then I can't have to get a permit for this, because I'm not moving it. I'm just. Yes, you will have to get a permit to redo a pool. No, I'm not, but I'm not moving it. it. You'll need a permit. If there's one thing I've learned with the Jed Smith Project, yes, you need a permit to demo anything, especially a pool. Well, Dude. why don't you just do it? Well, I don't really love getting involved with uh, family. Why not? You get involved in anything else I do. Yeah, but that's different. This type of stuff, it's too much. And like, yeah. I don't want to ruin- Don't be that person. Cause the sisterhood of the traveling parents. Exactly. And this construction stuff, it always seems amazing when you start. And it's just crazy how many problems you run into with the Jed Smith house. Want to get out now, sell. Yeah. And move to my next project because Can it's been it? the yes. craziest year. Also but. tough because I involve some of my closest friends in my business. Benny Jun. Benny Juju. So yeah, he's put a lot of sweat and tears in it. Yeah, I know, the it's pressure. Just... Of, I know. I could only imagine how frustrating it is, but you love it, it's your passion. Very frustrating. You're almost that. done. You've put so much money and just energy into it. Just finish it and make the best profit that you can off of it. That's right. the whole point. In New Orleans, I went to Cafe Du Monde and got beignets three times. Do you remember what happened the last time you got all stressed out and you were eating sugary stuff? I'm way skinnier than last time. I'm way healthier than last time. You're eating beignets. That's three times you know, a day. No, that was one trip for one day. I was in the kitchen this morning. You had your chef 
making the beignets <laughs> because you brought home the beignet mix. Yeah, and he doesn't make them. You know good. what you are? You're like a closet eater. You need an ankle bracelet. No, I don't. That goes off because I eat so much eat healthier than bad. I did before. I am going to go to Paris. Why do you need to go to Paris? Because I it... want to go to Paris to have a fitting to get some good pregnancy clothes. Can't somebody come here? I can't have every designer fly to LA, no. This is going to put you over the edge. Kim has been traveling a lot, and I don't think she understands that, you know, she's got to take care of herself. You're trying to do everything that would make the normal non-pregnant person exhausted. As far as results, your antibodies are positive for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. So I don't know, like, what that means. You'd have, in addition to swollen joints, Jeez. you'd have fevers, rashes, mouth splurs, you'd be really tired. No. But sometimes you can get false positive lupus screens. Do you know what's going on? Do you know what's going on? So you don't know, like that's that's the scariest part is we just don't know. I'll know on Friday. This Friday. Mm hmm Okay. And they're gonna give you the results right then. Because I'm not waiting any longer for this. The doctor did explain that there could be false positives when it comes to blood testing. So he wants me to go in a couple of days to go get these ultrasound scans on my hands and my joints that will really determine what's going on with me. But you know, you really do get in your head and think about the worst possible things that can happen. So for the next few days, it's gonna be really hell living, wondering, what I have, what's going on, and how to fix this. Let's stay really positive until we get some results. Are they? When are they able to give you so the Friday results? So Friday, I'll know everything. Smile is an act of love. I'm here for the kindness wall. Yay! Well, we're we're working on quotes. Okay, tell me. I just don't know what like the meaning is. The whole concept is to teach children and adults to I share words of kindness. I could use this. If they hear and see kind things, they'll they'll repeat kind things. And I felt like this was something that was such a great way to teach children and adults just about ways to consciously be kind. It's so such a good that, idea. I mean, this is we're... one of mine. It's not how much we give, but how much we love. Oh, that's so sweet. You I wanna can... write one? I'm not so good at this. Well, uh... just think of something kind. You can make it up or we can help give you some ideas. Oh. I love my beautiful wife to pieces. I can't spell all that. That's way too much. So should we put these? Yeah, let's put hang these them on the wall. Hi. You read them; they're all really sweet. Like kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Aww. Trust, greatness lies in being kind. The trust, wisdom, and a happy mind. I love it. What's going on? Mm. How are you? Good. Sit down. Let's have a visit. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. How are you feeling? I woke up a few weeks ago and my hands were really stiff. It was really weird. They felt different. I went to go get my phone and I couldn't. Like my hands were kind of numb. The next day I woke up and I literally couldn't lift my toothbrush. And I couldn't like take my bra off. That's I couldn't extreme. Sit my hands That's up. extreme for you. It was something that was really wrong. At this point, I'm still waiting to get my test results back, and I am going in to see my rheumatologist again to discuss what I can do if I have lupus or if I have rheumatoid arthritis, and what I can do to keep it as calm as possible. For the next few days, it's going to be hell wondering what I have, what's going on, and how to fix this. I would be so sad if like the baby came and I couldn't hold my baby. I know. Because I can't even hold my phone. I can't even hold, I couldn't hold a bottle. Like I, I wouldn't be able That's to do anything. That's how I feel when I go to pick up your baby, sir. Yeah. All the rest of the babies, I think, oh. Yeah. When you're too young for this, so. Yeah. I took There's some this pictures. one thing I can, I can send to you. It's a little blue bottle and it's called DES or DMS or something. 
CBS is good too. CBD. C not CBS, but CBD. CBD. I've had a few drops of those myself for my neck. Sometimes I like overdo it and I'll put too much on and then I get very sleepy or lazy or you do get sleepy. I just want to nap all day. Do you know where Scott is? He took the boat out. Okay, I thought he was gonna be here. I think he's just kind of trying to like do his own thing. I just thought if he was here, we would have lunch. Mm -mm. He just feels like you only care about the kids. They are my first priority. Yeah, but still. Like you don't want any like, even alone time with Scott, it's weird. For me, I like doing stuff all together as a family. I mean, you can't neglect him. You know, I just feel like he was such a big part of your life before you even had them. So now that they came along, like you're gonna ditch Scott, like you just, you need to give him I'm a little bit of attention. I'm not ditching him. But you kind of are. I'm not ditching him. You know it's true. He's gonna cheat on you and it'll be your fault. Just hearing Kim say those words really just freaks me out. Not that Scott would ever cheat on me, but I just really don't want this for my relationship. You just don't put in any effort. You're gonna like lose him. No joke. You're literally gonna end up like alone. Like, do you feel awkward, or do you feel like you could talk to her about everything? I felt like I could talk to her really? about everything. That's good. But yeah, I feel like I've grown a relationship with her. What's so her name? So now, her name? <laughs> oh my god! I don't know her name. Jamie! Jamie! <laughs> Jamie, my girl, Jamie. You're an artiste. Yeah, you want to see what I drew? I drew Penelope's hair. That's not bad. I am a designer. That's true. God, what are we gonna do when we're all out of arts and crafts? I just can't wait to go to Africa and just get out of here. I'm with Montana. So you guys are that close, like you'll sit 15, 20 hours on a plane together? Yeah. You guys are in deep. Yeah. You move quick when you move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check is something else. What is we bothering her in here? Though? Yeah, like why can't she just go upstairs? We don't do anything don't for know. her. <laughs> I just think she's like insensitive. You didn't want to be here. It's so hard for you. I don't think she thinks about that. I get she has a lot going on. Yeah. She's pregnant with the kids and she wants this to be like a kid experience. But I'm like trying to figure out my life, trying to clear out all this other that I've been dealing with in my past. And she just expects me to just be on her page and like want to like simmer down and chill here. I don't know. Some people don't get it. You know what I mean? Have you ever had anxiety like bad? I did not even want to leave my house. I was That's even worse. so anxiety afraid of like that. just people yeah. would yell things at me. It was horrible. I, I hated see. it. I think my anxiety though, especially coming to New York and then my parents stop being around anymore and then, you know, her being pregnant and everything just feels like it's coming down on me. I literally want to like jump out of my skin. It's that bad. Whenever I have anxiety, like I like to go out or distract myself. If you want to come to the city with me and hang out with French and I. It's yeah, like obviously I go to the city every night if I could. Well, what is that? It's just an anxiety pill for my anxiety, but I take it at night just to sleep. How much are you sleeping now? Like three or four hours a night. I know Scott has always had sleeping problems and always took sleeping pills. I understand that he's trying to cope, and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do, but I don't want to be too judgmental because I don't want him to not come to me and do something in secrecy, but it is concerning me, and I am getting a little worried. Even the grocery carts in Minnesota are weird. Ooh, should I get Minnesota Bride? 50 sex moves? 
I've only seen about three. It's false advertising. Oh my god, look. This is Kim and Chloe. It's war. Way to go. Chloe believes Kim is determined to outdo her and Lamar's wedding. So you think that's true? Kim put her fiance under pressure to up the ante. Chris had a hard time coming up with $2 million for Kim's 20 and a half carat ring. I'm hoping Chloe just mans up and apologizes. I don't think she has a right to really judge everyone that comes in and out and kind of put her stamp of approval. I think it all honestly started when she said, is this for real with the ring? And I was like, no, it's a joke. Kim is engaged! Is this real? Is Stop this real that, or right no? Now. It's a joke. I was joking. You're joking about what? Yeah, like, why wouldn't it be real? Are you the only one that can get married? It's just almost like, oh, you're going to take the shine away from me and my, like, basketball player husband. It would be really sad if Chloe and I didn't work it out before the wedding. I just hope that it doesn't get to that point where we don't get that opportunity. I just feel bad. I want us all to be able to like just hang yeah. out. I said, oh, why don't you guys come to Minnesota? She's like, I will never come to Minnesota. She said that? Yeah. And it's just like, it's unbelievable. We need to figure out what we want to do. You do understand the program that I was in, they said was six days. Mm -hmm. I did the five. The last day was a 24 hour surveillance day. I went through my withdrawals for the first three days and they were there. Mm -hmm. And then you saw like I ditched out early. Like I trucked through a very difficult time for me. Well, I was hoping that we could talk tonight after dinner alone with but, out to all the these people is, around. But the problem is it's like, We've been doing these talks for so many years. What else are you like gonna say that we haven't said 5,000 times before? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's stressful, like, how much we've fought, like, over all these years when I look back. And it's like, I mean, maybe it's all worth it, maybe it's not. I'm at the point where I'm just so tired of everything that, like, I don't wanna lose you and my kids. But, like, are we going to spend the rest of our life doing this? It's not only up to me. No, I mean, I'm just trying to take I mean, it a day at a time. are you planning to spend the rest of your life doing this? I don't know. I don't want to live the way I was living. Right. The truth is, I mean, I don't think that I've ever given myself time to really grieve over both of my parents dying because I just self-medicated by taking pills and drinking. It became like a 24-hour job to, like, stay trying to get drunk and stay trying to take pills and not think about life. And I just think this is going to be, like, a long road of figuring everything out. That's why I feel like having space so that we can each think clearly and just... How much more space do you need? We haven't slept together in five years. What's the difference? Honestly, though, I mean, I love you, yeah, but like, I we just really want to change, so I don't want to just fall back into the same routine. What routine? The one we've been in for years. Trust me, would I love to just say, yes, perfect, come back? Like, I want to make a change to make it better. You know, figure out who you even are. So has Kim been shopping up a storm? Yeah, the other day I was literally outside of her door and I was like, um, there was boxes probably this high. Tell us you. Of all stuff. And I was like, what do you do? She like, told me the last time I was she here. online shops. Which I do too, but you return I like half do. of it. I do because it's so easy to return it. But. What she told me the last time I was here, no joke, was that she hasn't bought anything in over a month and a half. And I was like, so where are all these new she shoes? She just bought a bunch of shoes the other day. I was in her room and she tried on four pairs of shoes for me and asked me which ones to buy. I mean, whenever I say no to her, she wants to buy it even more. So I'm like, oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine, you know? But and with then, you. Oh. And then it's funny because the one that I told her actually that I liked, she returned. She was like, no, I don't think so. Like, buy everything. You gotta love her.
come to the bathroom with me? Well, I will allow well, well, you. Will you come to the bathroom with me? Yes. Are you tipsy? No, you just said it really oh, okay. funny. <laughs> I know, what, like, you've been here for me before Colin was in jail and stuff. Um, and I just needed to tell somebody because it's been bothering me, but I, I think he's taking pills again. Like, he told me I took half a morphine, and then I'll be like, okay, so you took morphine. And he'll be like, no, I was just saying that so you can shut up. I don't really know what to do at this point, so like... Man, you are in a really situation. I feel super horrible for what Stephanie is going through. Out of all the dolls, I definitely have the most experience with drug use and drug addiction because of close friends that have been on drugs. So I think that I'm the person to help her. I have a friend, his name's Garrett. He runs a bunch of like rehabs and sober living and outpatient and inpatient stuff. He's really cool, he has tattoos, he's a DJ, and I think that he can really connect with Colin. Do you wanna like maybe like I mean, maybe. introduce them? Yeah. I yeah. think that we should introduce them. I think so. So we'll just plan something like to go to your house or something. Yeah, but we like have to keep it like we're just hanging yeah. out. Thanks. Oh my god! You're so skinny! You're so tiny! Yeah. So nice to meet you. Oh my God, so nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, this is surreal. <laughs> First, I know how probably scary and emotional all of this is. What made you want to apply for Revenge Body? I'm getting married next year. Yes, and congratulations. I bought my, thank you. I bought my wedding dress. It has lace cap sleeves, mm -hmm. so I'd really love to just feel beautiful in that dress. Okay. But every milestone in my life, I feel like that's when I've gained the most weight. From my 18th birthday, my dad decided to book an 11-day cruise in Maui. Wow. It was the last time we were all gonna be together before we kind of all did our own thing. The day before we were supposed to come home, my dad went up for a swim. He was a very, very strong swimmer. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of commotion going on and uh, it happened that my dad had drowned in an accident out there. Oh my gosh. The hardest part with not having my dad around is having experiences that you want to share with them. I miss my dad every single day. Every day. I know uh, to a degree how you feel. My dad died in 2003. I was 19. When it set in, I was like, you spiral. And for me, my spiral was food. Yeah. And I gained so much weight because I was so internally just suppressing so many things that it was like eating me alive, and I was literally eating everything. But we can't let these tragic things ruin the rest of our lives. Yeah. Who knows? Like, this is so <laughs> oh my God. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? No, no, don't you hurt yourself. <laughs> Way to go, Courtney. Oh, thanks. I worked hard on that. Uh, that was very good. Embarrassing. I bet it was like embarrassing. <laughs> you should not be talking. All you and Scott do is make out all day long. Oh, Chloe. please. Chloe. I'm oh jealous because I'm not humping yes. Scott. <laughs> you guys. Courtney and Scott, but stop making have. out. Come to me, my jungle friend. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna barf. We want to know if we had your blessing on waiting about the premarital sex. I'm not pregnant. What's going on? We keep practicing not getting pregnant. You're not a slur. Stop. Let's go make pretend you are for the night. Come Stop. on. What yeah. What happened to you last night? We had a little night in the jacuzzi. Ew. Now none of us can go in that jacuzzi for the rest no, of the I trip. I'll be making it and breaking it. You heard? I love you so much. Who the hell? Oh, you touching me real nice. Got to take your way to the bedroom and talk like that. Claude, gotta run like right Oh my you. god! You're gonna get it now. I have no one to talk to anymore. You guys need to get a room. You do. Yeah. Okay, Seriously. get a room. Let's talk about you getting costumes. Oh, you are the queen of dressing up. I love it. It's a dress up.
Oh my gosh, it's like Halloween every day in here. It is. We're shopping for Kim's boyfriend is injured, so she wants a nurse's outfit. <gasps> oh, that will make him feel better. <laughs> Chloe Reggie is gonna die. I'm gonna take such good care of him. Who needs some help? Doctor. Reggie. Doctor. You need stripper shoes when you look like a stripper. Really? Yes. Yeah. You look so cute. Oh! <laughs> I went to school with nuns. I'll whip you with this one. I'm gonna be major trouble. That is amazing. <laughs> That's really hot, Kim. There's what you want to be, like that, like that. Hold it. <laughs> so this one comes in black and red. I That's love the gorgeous. Hat. Yes. And then the last print is just for you guys, the unicorn with Kardashian hair. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's so cute. That is cute. I love that. I feel like Kylie would like that. Kylie, my little sister, I think she's like really cool. So she would wear a shirt that's shorter in the front to show a little bit of her belly button. Look at what's happening in the juniors market at the moment. Everything is cropped. I mean, do you guys like love. it? Love keeps me alive. I don't know. Wait, I'm not trying to be annoying again, but I swear if you guys look on Kylie's blog, she writes all these <laughs> quotes. No, 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 I swear. But you, but you don't, she, she has the cutest things that she just like posts. I, you have to look at her Tumblr. Okay. Oh. It's just like so her soul and it's what I want our line to be. Well. You know? Uh, I think more now that Kim is pregnant, Kim feels like she's losing some of her cool. And she's like literally Tumblr stalks Kylie. This is like how she dresses. Like this is her mood. I just want to be like that cool again, you know? Kimmy, I love you, but you've got to give it a rest. Oh, what would what? Kylie do? WWKD. <laughs> Kylie would wear it shorter. Love you. Her for telling me if I'm gonna have a good show or not. Yours are just telling me that they're filled with milk. This one especially, do you feel it? I felt a little leakage. You didn't feel leakage, but it's very hard. I have some cream for my coffee. Love you. Bye, Bye. you guys. Bye. You look so cute in that little sweater. I know. We do it tonight. Your idol I got a date. Thing. She's a plane mate. Oh, oh okay. yeah. So it's like you're going on the golf course. Yeah. Change your shirt. Your jeans and shoes are perf. Oh, wait, Roberto. This is from the 80s. This is not cool anymore. I'm waxing your chest. You only can do a little piece, though. Not the whole thing. If it hurts too bad, I'm not doing it. I want to show you how it's gonna feel. I get my vagina waxed, it doesn't hurt. Move. Oh my gosh, this One, is... two, three. Oh! Oh my oh, god! Right oh, 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 o
blind date. Yes. So what do you do besides being the Playmate of the Year? Well, I model. I do modeling and hosting. Oh, nice. But ultimately, I want to produce. Yeah, I want to start a production company eventually, but for like movies and music. Kara is really hot. She's very nice. I think we're really connecting. I'm 22. <laughs> Don't lie to me. No, I'm serious. She looks cute. She looks like Rob's type. All I see is like platinum blonde hair. She looks really like platinum tiny. Blonde. Yeah, she looks really petite. Yeah. I so want to call Rob and just. Oh my God! Let's like call him. How hair. funny would call that be? Now. Call him now. Hey Kim. Hey Rob. How's your date going? Going well. I'm uh, with my date, eating right now. Is she gorgeous? I mean, yeah. All right. Anyway, I, I'm being rude. I gotta go. See, they're always, always bugging me. But they mean well. No, they mean well. Yeah. They're just looking out for Big Rob. <gasps> oh! We were looking so hard. Do you mind if I make something in your kitchen? I'm making like this all natural deodorant. Oh my God, no, go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, are you gonna make me some? Three tablespoons baking soda. Where did you even come up with this idea? Internet. Isn't she a weirdo? Like, she's so weird. Baking powder, cornstarch. OK, so now I combine this. And that's it. Wait, so it's cream. Do you want to smell it? No. Do you want to smell me? No. <laughs> <laughs> smell this one. No, seriously. It, it smells good. I don't smell anything, smell but it. I don't want to be in there. It smells you guys good. fight again? I just, yeah. no, I just smelled it. It smells great. OK. I think Scott will be much happier. He's going to think I'm a whole new woman. This is all going to look good with Vader, right? Mm -hmm. Ah! Hello, hello! Looking good! How do you oh, feel? Yeah. I feel younger, lighter, fresher, and I'm back, baby. I am liking it. Honestly, this. I had no idea I even still looked like this under it all. I should have done this a while ago. Why don't you stay on me for things like this? I feel like with my long hair, I've been lagging. I've been moving slower, projects going slower. There you go. This is now, a fresh start. Everything can be fresh, clean, and move quickly. No, oh, like you'd have to wear it. Make the money! Oh my god, you shaved it. I had to get started. Oh my now. god, thank you. Thank god, right? Oh, I love it. You working or hanging? Well, I'm working on Jet Smith. You got the approval? Not yet, I'm working what? on it. What? We're going to do a meeting and discuss in a meeting. We've got to all sit down and communicate. We'll and do on that. the same page. I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. Jed Smith literally cost me like $750 a day for just to stand still. It just gives me a lot of anxiety just thinking about wasting and burning money. Well, you need to relax. Be patient with me, please. All right, you be patient with me when I cut your hair really quick. I got you, Nicolini. Sit. Don't f*** up. I'm not. Oh! Ah, oh, ah! Stop! You're gonna be the one to screw it up. You're right through eye. No, I got it. I watch YouTube's. <laughs> ah, chill out. Stop it! Stop! Mickey, stop if it, you stop keep it. moving, it's only gonna get worse. No, he's actually good. Damn, Scott! New promotion. Yeah. That is good. By the way, I don't need to keep building houses. <laughs> Dude, that was a nice little quick shape up. Well, we gotta fix that one right now. Mm hmm. Where? Not you. Ham. Excuse Stay me. Enough. Let's uh, do it. Hey, can I try one? No. no, no. God. Hey, kids, Steph. Brought some holy water with me. Oh, holy water. Yes. No, really? No, off top. Wait, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> who blessed what? that for you? <laughs> from Actually, who? I took it from my Nina. OK, I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. Can I just yeah, put a little, you don't mind? Be my guest. Here it's been go. a little, little crazy back here. In so Jesus' I name. Honey, in Jesus, in Jesus' name. Store. Oh, I am. Khadija, you're I need blessings. I need all the blessings. All that needs to flow throughout my weave. Father, Son, and Holy I Spirit, need amen. My hands, I'm my feet, with her. And my wedding ring, you know. We need I'm going to bless the store. A lot of negativity going on. Everybody can use some spiritual growth. Oh, of course. Thank you. Want to go bless the floor a little bit? I have to say that Lexi bringing in holy water to Dash 
is the best thing I've seen in a long time because I think it's the reason why her and Durrani are now actually getting along. I tried her holy water. Yeah. I'm hoping yeah, that'll work. Water. Yeah, girl, I blessed yeah. the back. We needed it. <laughs> Sweet of you to share. I think yes. that was a genuine offer yeah. rather than a you need it. Look at all you a little that. sum that here. Nice. I saw that one. <laughs> Way to go, Lex. <laughs>
complete gag. You don't smell this, I'm throwing up in my mouth. Could you get a wet paper towel, please? Kendall is such a dog lover, and not so lucky for me, she's constantly traveling for work. And I'm stuck here picking up the Here, to go clean up the dog poop. You, go, you can help me clean up the dog poop. Oh, I do it every no. day, Kim. Oh, no. This is just a bunch of crap that I put up with. Keeping up con los Kardashians. how it is like even possible for a dog to even like this mom hey what's going on nothing do you smell this yeah it smells yeah. like dog yeah but it really reeks in here no it's like this shirt what's going on will you uh, put this in the dryer for me you're getting really lazy honey i mean you can put it in your own self stupid talk. Oh my god. It like and you don't even open the doors. You are not a good person. Where's Kendall? I have no idea. She's gone. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna vomit. This dog is the size of a horse and so is it. It's like 101 Dalmatians pooped and peed in my laundry room times two. I really think that my kids think that this is my job to take care of it all, and I'm over it. It's not fair. Oh. I can't look at this. Cam, please help me. Oh my God. Oh. oh. I can't with that smell. Oh. Cam, you're a piece of Get out of here and Mom. help me. It's not my mess. I didn't all over the floor. Keeping up con los Kardashians. Mom? Yeah? Why'd you leave the thing out in front of my room? Kendall? Do you realize what's going on in this house? It's not cool, Kendall. Yeah, but you pick it up before I even get the chance. You complain and you yell at me, but I've never gotten a chance. The sh is downstairs. This time I left it for you, so go clean it up, okay? It's all yours, Happily. Kendall. Congratulations. You get to pick up the sh today. Oh my god. Smells so crazy in here. Oh sh! Who the hell leaves sh in the kitchen trash can? Oh, this is disgusting. Okay, the Kardashians might not be this over the top, but we're sure the next episode will be epic.